Uh, the next feature we will discussing now in backup infrastructure is uh, external repositories. We have learned backup repositories in the last video by creating repository 1 and 2. And the third is an external repository. External repository is nothing but storing your data to the cloud. If you go to the add repository, it asks you, do you want to store your data for AWS Amazon or do you want to store your data to Veeam backup for Microsoft Azure so I have been using Azure from a long time if I select this now external repository one is the name you can change name if you want go next now credentials now credential is those are the credential you have to type the account name Microsoft account name and you have to type the shared key so whenever you are using a storage on a Microsoft Azure platform, you create account, there is always an account name and it does have a shared key to access it. When you say OK for this, you are set to go. So if you click on manage cloud accounts, again, you have to type account name and key. So with these two methods, you can and you can also choose the reason if you are using Azure for government, Azure for Germany or anything. So keep Azure global if you are not from any of those three. So Azure global standard. Gateway server, by this server you are going out to the internet. So keep this as a gateway server and simply go next. That's it, how it works. As of now, I do not have this uh, license for Azure Cloud but probably maybe in the end of this course I'll try to remake this video and show you by using the name and shared key how you can create external backup repository once you create external backup repository you can take backup directly to the cloud thank you very much